Good evening, YouTube. This is going to be a review on the application Live Cams. It's right there. Uh, right now, it's a dollar from the App Store, and I mean, it really is amazing. What it does is accesses security cameras and webcams all around the world, and you can really much select one and view them in real time. Uh, it has, uh, well, here's the first one, just somewhere in Canada. Um, Certain webcams, this one doesn't have the ability, certain webcams you can control and like pan or zoom or whatever you want to do. This one doesn't have it either. But it has famous places like the Eiffel Tower. Um, it has the Great Wall of China. It does indoor places. Here's one of Disneyland. It does indoor pools. It can do zoos. It has beaches. Uh, this one has control. Uh... I mean, you real literally can. This one doesn't. This camera doesn't have control either. Oh well. I mean, you can you can pretty much view anything with this. This app is just stunning. I use I used to um, use Firefox and spend hours looking for webcams that people leave pretty much just open for people to view, and all over the world. And it's it was fun, but it was time consuming and. I don't know how worth it it was. But this one takes all the best webcams with things with most activity or most interesting spots. Here's some people sitting right now at a computer. If you can see it, there's a guy giving a lecture and everything. That's cool. That's West Hartford, Connecticut. So, I mean, and they have no idea we're watching them. But, yeah, so it was hours and time consuming and a lot of times you never even found anything good. But with this, it takes all the best ones and categorizes it for you. And you can go to, uh, I think it searches here, and you can choose locations. It has airports, animals, attractions, you know, all of this. Let's say I want to go indoors because I don't know, you know, the lighting stuff is terrible outside sometimes. So here's some indoor places. Oh, here, I'm going to look for somewhere. And it looks like it has activity. Well, Beyond Bike Store. This is uh, San Diego, California. It has controls. So activate controls, and this is the pan of the camera. It adjusts where the camera's facing. Tilt is like the angle. And I can zoom way in on something. I don't know why I'd want to zoom way in on that, but I could. So I have the option to do that. Let's see if I can find anyone in the store. I thought I saw some movement a minute ago. Hmm, maybe no one's there. Oh well. But I mean there's places like this all over the world. Some places inside, some outside. A lot of like really famous places. Um it has Alcatraz. Oh this one has presets, so you can choose a preset location that the camera has programmed in. Okay. So But yeah, that's um That's pretty much the application. And, I mean, maybe for some people this isn't the best thing in the world. Here's some people in a bar in Florida, Buffalo Chips Restaurant. Um, I mean, maybe for some people it's not the best thing if you're not into the whole eavesdropping thing, but I always say it's kind of cool to, like, spy on people and have them no idea you're watching them, watching them go about their business. You never know what you're going to find, though. I found webcams that you can like adjust and go right into someone's bedroom window. So, but yeah, overall, I give this app two thumbs up. Totally go buy it. The interface is amazing. It's updated very frequently. There's always new updates that completely change the layout and the functionality, and there's untold amount of things to do. They have, or soon, they're about to include the ability, to, like, so you can hear the, uh, cameras too so you'll be able to hear people talking so yeah overall um amazing app uh go buy it